it's John. Today we're going to look at how to load the film into the Diana F. The Diana F is optimized for 400 speed film. That is what I have here. I have got some uh, Kodak Porta 400 speed film, 120 size. Well, while I was getting this film, I noticed that they had on special some rolls of expired film. So I decided since we're just playing around, learning, experimenting, it might be fun to see what would happen if I shoot on some expired film. They might turn out, they might not. You never know with expired film. Sometimes you get some interesting effects. And the films that they had expired, some black and white 400 film, some 100 speed color film, red scale film, which is a ISO 50 to 200. And what red scale film is, is the film is put inside the canister backward. So you're shooting through the film onto the emulsion rather than shooting directly onto the emulsion. And sometimes that can cause some very interesting color variations on your image when you shoot that way. We're gonna start off with the regular 400 speed film. And then the way you put it in is on the bottom of the camera here. There's a little switch. You flip it up to open and then it just slides down. And as you can see in the back, the uh, film roll will go here, across the back here, and then onto your uptake roll here. Let me go ahead and cut this tape. So you have your little tab here. There is a little wheel right there and you want the top of the roll of film to go in there and then it just pops in through here. This holds it in place. The spring should um, sit up and it should go over like this. You want to feed this into the intake reel such as like so and turn it counterclockwise. You want to make certain that there is tension so the film isn't loose. You also want to make certain it's going on to the uh, uptake reel evenly. After you get two or three rotations on there, then what you can do, slide the back back on, pop it back to close. So I'm going to be shooting 12 images borderless. I have it on 12 here and I didn't put in a frame. You advance the film. There's a lot of advancing you need to do until in this window right here you see the number one and once you see that number one it means that your first image on your roll of film is ready to be shot Looks like I went past it, I'm at two. Anyway, I lost the first image, but I'm ready to shoot on the image frame two. And after you shoot the picture, you would just turn this until it gets to the next number, all the way up until you go to 12. After your 12th exposure, you wind off the film, and then you're ready to take out the film. And either, if you have your own darkroom, develop the film yourself, or take it somewhere and have it developed for you. And unfortunately, I don't have a darkroom, so I'll be doing the latter. And after I shoot this roll of film, I will show you how to remove the film. All right, let's go shooting.